Reconstruction of the urethra and bladder neck following severe obstetric trauma. 25-year-old woman who had an obstructed labor that ended by disruption of the urethra and bladder neck. Six months after trauma, the floor of the urethra and bladder neck was completely sloughed. Plan of reconstruction was to replace the ventrum of the urethra using vaginal wall flap while making use of the dorsal urethral plate. An incision is made in the anterior vaginal wall to obtain a good thickness vascular vaginal wall flap. Then two lateral incisions are made in the dorsal urethral plate freeing it from the underlying bone. The section of the vaginal wall flap is continued to the level of the bladder neck so that the flap could be easily mobilized. The section of the bladder neck of the pubic bone was carried out. The bladder neck has to be severed. Reanastomosis of the bladder neck to the dorsal urethral plate was carried out using 4.0 PDS. Anastomosis of the dorsal and ventral flaps is performed using 4.0 PDS continuous interlocking suture.
A rectus fascial sling was harvested and positioned under the new urethra to accomplish continence. Clamps are passed from the cerebropubic incision via the retropubic space in order to grasp the suspending sutures. Four ovicral sutures are used to fix the sling to the erythral wall. Redistribution of vaginal mucosa in order to clothe the defect resulting from harvesting the vaginal flap. Closure of the vaginal mucosa around the new urethra is performed using two ovicral sutures. An 18 French silicone catheter is introduced through the new meatus easily. It was left for two weeks. The sling was tied loose and the cerebubic incision was closed in layers. <laughs>